Hi guys, uh, for the past few months we have received the request for Avaya OD with uh, SQL. Uh, how to integrate with the SQL, it can be MS SQL, it can be MySQL or any other SQLs which we have uh, using obviously the database connector. Okay, so let's start with this one. Okay, uh, so there are few steps involved as per the developer guide mentioned. So I will go through that. So let's say this is your speech project. Let's go to the preference uh, in that Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer and Database. Okay, so what it requires over here is the jar file, connector jar file. Okay, uh, so I have already downloaded the jar file. If I go to Avaya Workspace. Uh, so I have already downloaded for the MySQL. I'm using MySQL this time. Uh, I don't have the MSSQL. Um, so MySQL connector uh, version number 8.0.31. Okay. And this has to be put inside the Tomcat. So I have put it inside the Tomcat uh, lib. Uh, if you see right, um, if I select with MySQL, you can see the jar over here. And that is what where I am going to point it to. So I will point it to my SQL connector. The jar is added. I will apply and I will click OK. Now the next step is what we have to do is create a connector, right? So if you go uh, right click and properties, go to the orchestration designer. Over here you will see pluggable connectors. Scroll down till the point where you see database. OK, and click add. Okay, so it's required a name. You can give any name like this uh, DB. Okay, now over here it required driver class name. Okay, so this is where a little bit get tricky. I have uh, noted down the available database that we have and what are their driver class name. So for this MySQL, this is the driver name and for SQL server, you will see that this is the driver name. Okay, so I will leave the driver name over here. Now connection URL. Again, this is a little bit tricky because it's not same for all. For SQL database, uh, it's like JDC, JDBC SQL Server, along with that IP address and port and database name. For MySQL, it is again the same, but uh, instead of specifying the database name, it's in the part of the URL. Okay. Now, before moving over here, let me dig into the database so that you can see what I'm seeing right now. So this is a MySQL database over here, and we have three schemas, right? One Sakila systems and world. So I'm using this one, and inside of that also, I have used uh, the actor column, and this is what we get. So once I execute, right? So I get uh, this actor ID, and based on that, uh, we have its first name and the last name. So what we will do is based on the, uh, what do you say, the actor ID, we will pull the first name and the last name from the database, okay? Uh, so again, going back to the, what is this connection URL to the database? Okay, so I will give the connection URL over here. I've given a uh, username as root and password as my SQL at the rate one, two, three. Okay, what I will do, I will do a test connection. So if you see the connection test is succeeded, it means all the configuration that you have done is all okay. So I will click okay over here. I will see that okay is mentioned over here and I will click okay. So once you do that, right? Now we have to create the uh, query files like what you want to do with this database connectivity that we have, right? So what I will do is, so this is against uh, the database connection that we made. Uh, so data source is the test DB. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to query, right? So based on the actor ID. So let's uh, get uh, actor name is the file name we want to create. So let's, so once you do that, uh, I can see the tables, which is similar to what we have over here. See, actor and other tables are also coming. Let's go back to the SQL. Uh, I need all. 
uh, let's create a new variable for all so what it will do it will create a uh, once you use this one right it will create a new variable into the uh, what do we say that i forgot the name uh, project variables okay so now uh, what will be the condition right so predict so we are going to use the simple statement like where where uh, where is the properties here where table name is this one and column name is actor id right that is what we are going to check actor id and based on actor id okay so let's first create a variable so let's create a variable called like uh, set actor id something like that and let's give it to like any of the actors so for six what we have uh this is betty nicholson okay uh mm -hmm. going back over here and it will be actor id equal to variable we can do hard code also but we will not go with the hard code and that will be set actor id okay now we will just test it out so let's execute again okay so it's working fine for six we will get betty okay so everything looks good over there close this one close this one also now if you see where that database connectivity right we created where it is so if, if you go to your connectivity right inside that you will see that uh, the one which you have created or you can use data and inside of data you can see the database so either way you can use i usually use this one because it's much easier so let's we'll get uh, actor name okay and let's point this one to this one so if you see actor name is there uh, by default and uh, what else yeah next it we will try to play it out okay so connection over here and here to here and now let's create a new file let's name it play actor what is a c t o r okay okay so we got actor name from dbs so what we got as a name uh, it will be which variable text variable i think yeah okay so what is the variable name we got first name there will be a first name and there will be a last name also uh, do we give space no that's it now you must be wondering where this variable got created okay so we didn't create anything if you go to the project variables right so once you create uh, the what is that this operation right so these variables get created uh, there should be one an actor id over here you can create a complex variable also if you want uh, this is just for the test i have just use the simple variable so what we were doing uh, we are trying to play the name the we got okay yeah so that is done close save close save close save let's say play actors name okay so let's test it out uh, if it is working or not so we will run the application uh what was okay we got actor name from db as vet nicholson so not sure if you able to hear or not uh, but if i expand this thing so it plays we got that so this is uh, text to speech and then this is the name which it plays which is for database user 6 is this one so so yeah uh, just a few configurations uh, uh, related to connection url and database class name make sure you download the database 
jar file as per the website so if i go uh, to the connector right so this is from where i have downloaded which is actually the mysql website the jar file uh, version 8.0.31 i think um so yeah uh, if any query just uh, put in the comment section thank you for watching do like and subscribe thank you